All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to get that halftime effect with no plugins necessary. So no gross beat, no cable guys halftime, just straight up chopping up your audio and getting that halftime effect. Now this will work in any DAW, so let's jump right into it. This is the bells right over here that I wanna to set to halftime or get that halftime effect on. And here's what that same bell pattern sounds like with a halftime plugin, like Cable Guys Halftime, set to one bar. All right, so now let's go ahead and get that same sound. Now, if my pattern is simple, all I need to do really is just take my four bar loop, whatever length your bar your region is set at, and just duplicate its length. So right now I'm at four, I'm gonna stretch it out to eight bars. And now I'm going to get that same stretched halftime sound, but in the same octave. Then all you got to do is take your region and pitch it down one full octave. And you get the same sound. All right, as you can see by that AB there. But what if my pattern is a little bit more complicated and halftime is having a little bit more nuances in its pattern. Well, that's because sometimes if you're just stretching it out, you're missing some of the information that halftime is actually doing in the background. So let's really go into the nitty gritty on what halftime is doing and just reduplicate that here. So right now we are set to a bar. So the first thing we wanna do is chop up our region to a bar, right? We're gonna take these last three over here, we're gonna pull them over. We're gonna select all of these regions and we're still gonna do the same thing. We're gonna stretch it out by double the time to get that halftime effect. So right now we're set to a bar. We're gonna select our regions and we're gonna stretch it out to two bars, All right? Then we're gonna take our pattern from here, our regions that we pulled over and just start dragging them over. And now we're gonna get an identical halftime effect that's set at one bar. But first we gotta transpose this down one octave. All right, so let's go ahead and AB that. No difference. All right, so let's say we want to half time that now at a half bar. Same thing goes here. We're gonna go to our half bar right point over here. We're gonna take our cursor right over there. We're gonna option click. We're gonna get all of our cuts on the half point. We're gonna pull this over, give ourselves some room, select them all, stretch them to double the value, and then pull back, pull back, pull back. We'll just go for the two bars because it repeats itself. And it goes like this. Oh, we gotta go ahead and transpose that down one full octave. And let's see what it sounds like here. Same thing. Now, if you're getting a little clicks and pops, you're gonna to wanna to add in some fades in your region. Uh, in Logic, you can just select your regions and go to fade in. I usually just put in a two at the top and two on the out, and it cleans that up. Nearly identical, you don't need that halftime plugin. If you value time, then you wanna get that plugin because you wanna work fast. Now, let's say we wanna to go to a quarter note type of halftime. This is what it sounds like. All right, so we gotta get that now. I'm just gonna undo everything we did to get our region back. And we wanna to go to quarter notes. So you guessed it, we're gonna to go to quarter value chop it up there and it's chopped up on all the quarters. And uh, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull this out, give ourselves some more room, and we're just gonna stretch it out double the length. So if it's a quarter, we're gonna go to a half. Let Logix do its thing. And then we're gonna pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Just pull these back. All right. And this is what we get here. We gotta pitch that down one full octave. A 
Let's add a little bit of fade. The same. So the reason why I showed you this way is this will work across any DAW that you use. Just follow these steps, stretch out your audio, and you will get this effect. Now, if you are using Logic, we can go ahead and just use a feature built in Logic so we don't have to worry about transposing. Uh, let's say we want to go to, let's go back to half notes here. Sorry, half a bar. Uh, we'll turn on this right over here, flex mode. And we're going to change this over to speed effects. So when we stretch it out, it's going to give us that lower octave uh, type of sound. So we got to chop this up on half a bar. Let's go here. Half a bar, 17 to 18 and halfway point. We're going to chop it up. Option click. We're going to pull these away. We're going to select all of them. We're going to go to the top part of the region here until we get this icon and stretch out. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull this back. I'm going to pull this back, pull this back. Now it's going to give us that same sound, but we don't have to worry about transposing down. Same thing. All right, so that right there is how you get that halftime effect using no plugins whatsoever. If you do have any questions on this, we can go ahead and chat in the comment section below. And as usual, we'll see you on the next one. Later.